my name is Emelifon Noel Oge of Let Us Farm. So today we are talking about using maggots as a major source of feed to reduce cost of production. Do you think this is true? Do you think this will work? Do you think this is a way to reduce your cost of production? Let's discuss. I'll be right back in a moment. This is Let Us Farm page. Like you all know, welcome once again. So if you are watching me for the first time, my name is Emily Fong Unuel Oge. And all we do here is we discuss the practical solutions to our agri problem. And let me use this opportunity to remind you, if you've not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe. Just hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that once I drop any video, you will be the first to see. Now, if you are having any problem in your farm, all you simply need to do is do a two to three minutes video and send it to 081-353-48909. When you send it to me, I will look at these videos and I will give you a very good professional advice that will help you. Even if you want to start your farm, you've not done it before, or you just want to start, or you want to start construction, you don't know what to do, you can still do the same thing. Just tell me. And uh, I will pick it up from there. And remember, this service is absolutely free. There is no cost on the service. Just talk to me. I have done it for a lot of people and you cannot be different. Now, I always tell people, please, we are not forming any WhatsApp group. In case someone contacts you that you send your number for WhatsApp group, please discard that. I don't know about that. So let's move straight to the sub uh, topic of this course today. Yeah, I have uh, talked about this slightly and uh, in fact, it's a recurring topic, you know. People keep bombarding me with the questions that um, people that are selling maggots are telling them that why waste money on feed and uh, the easiest way, the best way to cut your cost of production is using maggots. Yes, maggots is proteinous, highly proteinous. But you see... Problem is that most times I don't like talking about things like this because I usually look at it that I don't need to intrude on people's business. But it now gets to a time when you now look at it that it is adversely affecting many people that are listening to this and you just don't have a choice. Because most people that have talked to me, I normally address that issue personally. But now the noise is now too much. Many people are losing money. The question is what's happening now, let me break it down like this. Maggot itself is highly proteinous. When I mean highly proteinous, it's a very good source of protein to your fishes. But the problem is that your fishes doesn't need only protein for growth and development. It's not possible. And another story is that what is the quantity of maggots that you will give to your fishes that will make them be okay? This is a question that nobody has been able to answer. Now, what I'm telling you is that if you are going to use maggot as your only source of feed because you want to cut cost of production, sorry, you have failed. The issue, some people are saying, eh, the people are telling them that they produce this BCDS. Well, well, look, reality is this. Businessmen are businessmen. Therefore, a businessman will always look for a way to market his product. Like I said at the beginning, it is highly proteinous. You see, that being the reality makes marketing of the product more easier to you, the buyer. But in actual sense, what is the job of maggot on your fishes? They are just feed supplements. Never you plan when you are going into fishery that your major source of feed is maggot. 
it is zero that you will make in returns. Fishes, I always say it, are measured by weight. Now, think, what is the weight that they will eat that will benefit them? The question that you and I cannot answer. Funny aspect is that if you calculate how much people that produce their own want to measure and sell to you and equate it with how much feed is, you will discover that you are just wasting your time. The process of producing a maggot, some think is so easy that you keep things, you rot things and get it out. But when you calculate the energy, the time and everything put into it, and then the result that will come at the end of the day, well, I will leave that particular subject for you to decide. But truthfully, you can't use only maggot to achieve your best results in fish. You will not make it out of it. The funny thing is that the last person that made me to say, oh, I'm going to do this, now told me that when he was about starting, the person selling the maggot now encouraged him that people waste so much money and he had to stock 3,000 fishes. Relied solely on this guy. That this guy produces maggot and stuff like that. But in the long run, when he was now looking at the growth of the fishes, they were not doing well. At four months, he was not able to get 600 grams. You see? So when he was now complaining, the guy now blamed it on the fish supply. I say, yes, if you have a bad seed supplied as your juvenile or fingerling, there could be problem. But in this instance, it is not the problem. Now, he complained again of having high mortality rates and the guy still blamed it on the supplier. This is where the problem lies. I now explain something to him that this is something I have always said. If you are using maggot, especially in concrete or tarpaulin pond, now, because maggot, when you put them in the water, go and look at that water. Bend down and look at the water. You see things like oil floating on your water. These are the things on the body of maggot that exudes out once they enter water. That's why you discover that whenever they are in a dirty, dirty sluggish, you see how they move. So no matter how neat it is, if you put it on water, you will see that oil. It's just from the body. Now, when you use it in a concrete or tarpaulin pond, and after pouring the maggot, after feeding your fishes, you do not go back to change the water after a while. What happens is that it may lead to contamination. And when this happens, your fishes will be dying. Now, because nobody wants to take blame, they will blame the person that supplied the fish initially, not knowing that they are the ones who are causing their own problem. You will understand. Being that as it may, people in eating pond may not even know, but it also affects the eating pond. Sometimes you just come, you see fishes floating. I, I did a video on that when somebody was using it in, a, in an eating pond, but he told me that each time he uses the thing, the next day he will see fishes dead. He was now wondering what's the cause. And the person in question was using both the commercial feed and maggot. But when I explained everything, I told him to suspend the maggot, change the water in the eating pond, he did it. And the thing stopped. Then he now came to realize what I was saying. So the issue is this. It may look funny to some of us. It may look cheap to some of us. But like I keep telling people, the reality about fish business is that it's not naturally what you do now that matters, but it's the result you get at the end. So if you are planning for whatever reason, that you are going to depend on maggot as your main source of feed for your fish. Please, I'm telling you, don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your energy. Forget about that. Wait until you are able to do the business. Wait until you are able to get the money that will carry you for the business. Now, let us put it this way. If you want to use maggot because... I have said that maggot is proteinous, and you have heard people saying that maggot is proteinous. Have it at the back of your mind that you are just supplementing. I'm not saying substituting. Supple that is to you are supporting. Now, this does not mean that you won't feed your fishes to satisfaction. It means that after feeding your fishes to satisfaction, you give them the maggot as a snack as a snack just like you may finish eating and you decide to go and eat meat pie eat burger eat all those things they are snack so 
that when the feed works, that one can also work. Remember, the best result you will get from fish farming is using a fully composed feed. It is not that when you go and mix some chaff and give them, they will surely eat because fishes can eat nearly everything. Once they are hungry, you put anything in the water, they will eat. That is the truth. If they are hungry, just throw it in the water. Once it, they put their mouth and it's something they can, they will eat it. But the reality is that after eating it, what would be your result? And that is the thing that discourages most people at the end of the day. You will see people saying, eh, we know how much we have spent. The question is, how did you spend the money? Did you spend it in the right way? Or did you spend it on, I was told that this will work? When you have not seen anybody that it worked for. Two different things. People can give you a lot of assessments, a lot of projection, but let them show you their own result. If their result is not visible and it is they told them or they are telling you or somebody put it on the net without showing you the result, <laughs> hey, the reality is not the best because the truth is that money will be spent and that money you won't get it for that particular set. It is gone. So, in conclusion, if you want to start fish farming or you already have your fish farm and you are told that you should use maggots as your major source of feed for your fish, please and please again, don't do that. If you do it, you are not going to make the result that you wish. The best form of your feed is to give your fishes a composed feed that contains all the ingredients. When I'm saying all the ingredients, I don't mean uh, that it has, uh, uh, it has fish meal, it has salt, it has this, it has it. All the ingredients are all the balanced diet components. They have to include protein, have to include fiber, carbohydrates, all these things, oils, minerals, it is all of them that gives you the essentials, the main ingredient, the essential uh, components of your feed. So please, like I said, don't rely only on maggots as your only feed source for your fishes. If you must use maggots, use it as a supplement, as a snack to your fish. Depending on how convenient it will be for you, Remember that whatever you are doing in fish always attracts cost. And that cost will always come out from your overhead as part of your expenses. So whenever we want to do things, whenever we want to try things, always have that at the back of your mind. So that when you are computing your expenses, you know where that money went. So until I come your way next time, I remain yours, Noel Oge of Leros Farming. Keep farming. Farming is a way of life. And don't forget... Subscribe to this channel. Then, if you have any issues in your farm, do a two to three minute video and send it to 081-353-48909. Remember, this service is free. It is all for us to learn and grow together. So until I come your way next time, this is Let Us Farm page. Make sure you are with us.